Hi children, welcome to the 9th standard second language English, second poem, Gratefulness. Okay, I hope you are doing well at home. Have you completed the assignment? In the last class, I have given some questions related to the lesson, the three questions written by Leo Tolstoy. Let us discuss question and answers, which is the first question, how did the king treat the man? Who is the man? The wounded man, bearded man. The king washed and covered the wound with his handkerchief. He redressed the wound until at last the bleeding stopped. The king washed and covered the wound of the wounded man. Now, let us discuss the second question. What according to the hermit was the most important business? What was the business? Yes, here according to the hermit, the most important business was to do the person good. Because we are sent into this world for that purpose alone. We, we good good things in our life. This was the business according to the hermit. Next, I had given some sentence to change active to passive voice. The sentence is, your men saw me, which is the tense here. Very good. This is simple past tense. How can we change? Yes, first we should know the subject and the verb and the object. Yes, subject is your man, verb, saw, object, me. Change this one into the passive voice. Use this formula. What is there? Verb to form is given. Sa is verb to. Use was a verb plus verb 3 form of the given verb. Yes, here let us change object into subject place. What is the object here? Very good, me. Me, when the me comes to the subject place, it changes into I. I was seen by your man. Here, I is singular, first person singular. So, we have used was. If it is plural, we should use verb only. I was seen by your man. This is the answer. Very good. Students were writing the examination. This is the sentence. This is very good. Past progressive form or past continuous form of the sentence here. Now, use the formula here. The subject is very good. Students were writing ing form is there. Both a verb section were writing and the examination is the object here. Use the formula was a verb plus verb one plus ing. This is the formula. Now we should change into was a verb plus being because it is continuous form. We should use being here then verb three form. Change this one. Have you done? Very good. The answer is the examination singular noun. So we should use was here. The examination was being. Written by subject students come to the object place by students. Now, let us move to the next sentence. The king has asked the questions. This is the sentence. Yes, the tense is present perfect tense. Now, the subject, the verb, and the object. Now, change this one, which is the formula. Very good, you are right. You should use this formula have or has plus verb 3. This is present perfect tense. Now, we should change into have or has plus been here. If it is continuous, we should use being. If it is perfect, we should use been plus verb 3 form. Now, change this one. Yes, correct, you are right. The sentence is the questions have been asked by the king. The questions is a plural noun. So, we should use how here. Correct. Now, let us move to the poem Gratefulness. It is written by Joseph T. Renaldi. Before going to the poem, let us discuss about the pre-reading activity. Listen 
the paragraph carefully, after this you should be ready to answer some questions related to the paragraph. Let us, Sunita was badly injured in an accident, her leg was fractured, she was operated upon the broken bone was joined using a steel rod. She was advised rest for a month, she could not move. She was angry that God had been very unfair to her. Her friend Anjali comforted her saying that she should look at those who were physically challenged since birth and be grateful to the creator. Yes, Sunita was badly injured in an accident. She thought God was unfair to her. Was she right by doing like that? No. Since birth, those people would not get their eyes, ears, but Anjali comforted, yes, do not think about that. The God has given everything. By our negligence, we lost our organs. Let us discuss the questions, which is the first question, was Sunita right in being angry with God? Was Sunita right? What is your answer? Yes, very good. No, because the God has given everything. It is because of our negligence, we lost our organs. Now, what was the question? How did Anjali comfort Sunita? What is your answer? Very good. Anjali comforted Sunita saying that she should look at those who were physically challenged since birth and be grateful to the creator. Yes, we should be grateful to the creator because the God has given everything to us, but we should use them properly. Now, let us move to the poem. Let us know about the poet. The poet is Joseph T. Rinaldi. He was born in Windbo, Pennsylvania. The image of Joseph T. Ronaldi is there. Now, his famous field is education. He has been worked 40 years in the field of education. He is known for his painting, drawing and woodcraft. His famous works are a binding relationship, a birthday greeting and a bountiful harvest, the willing wind and graduation day. Graduation Day is a famous poem written by Joseph T. Rinaldi. Now, let us move to the glossary words. What is the meaning of sobbing? What is the meaning of sobbing? Crying. The boy is crying. Make a sentence using the word. Yes, the boy is sobbing because he has lost his mother in an accident. Sobbing means crying. Now, let us move to the second word comfort. The meaning of comfort is to make somebody who is worried feel better health. Who is there? Very good. He is former president of United States of America, Obama. Obama is comforting the lady. Very good. Now, let us move to the next word aid. Aid means help, help somebody or someone. Yes, the boys are aiding each other, the boys are helping each other. Now, let us move to the next word arduous. The meaning of arduous means involving a lot of effort or energy. Can you use the word in your sentence? Yes, they are doing arduous work. Now, let us move to the poem. Listen carefully. I am grateful for the eyes that I can see, the activities that can be done by me. I am grateful for the ears that I may hear the sobbing of those who need me near. I am grateful for the lips that I might speak words of comfort and peace to all who seek. 
I am grateful for a mind that I might know how to hate those who need me so. I am grateful for the hands that I might do some arduous or simple task for you. I am grateful for the ability to always pray to give me the strength and guidance every day. I am grateful for one thing all else above that I was given a heart that I may love. Let us discuss the gist of the poem. In the first stanza, the poet says us about the eyes. The poet says that he is grateful to the God. Why? For giving him eyes so that he can see the activities he could and evaluate himself for his words. Yes, eyes are very useful because we can see all the activities and the surroundings of our nature. Yes, eyes are very useful. We can see and we can evaluate what I am doing. Am I in the right way? We can see using the eyes. Eyes are very useful. I can see the activities and evaluate the activities. Now, in the same stanza, the poet says that he is grateful to the God for giving him ears so that he can listen the sobbing difficulties of the people and he can help him. Yes, the difficult thing in the difficult situation, the people cry. So, we can help them by comforting the words. Yes, we can help the people in the needy situation. Can we? Yes, we should. The poet says, we have ears to help the people when they are in crying, when they are in the problem. So, we have he is to listen their problem. We should listen them and we can give the suggestion to them, salvation to them. Let us move to the second stanza of the poem. The poet says that he is grateful to the God for giving him lips so that he can speak the comfortable words and pacify the people who are in need. Yes, we can see we come across some situation, but we can see the activities, but we will not help them, but we should help them when they are in the difficult situation, when they are worried, we should use, we should comfort with the solutions. Next, the poet says that he is grateful to the God for giving him a mind, so that he can think always how he can help or assist the people who are in trouble. Yes, we have mind. Why do we use mind? Yes, very good. We should think. We can think using the mind. Yes, this is right. This is correct. This is right. We can do the right way. We can think this is good, this is bad. We can practice this, we cannot practice this. It is because of the mind. We should have mind to do, to think the good or bad things. Now, the poet says that he is grateful to the God for giving him hands. Yes, we have hands. Why? Why? We can do some simple or hard works for the people. We can do our works using our hands, but we can do, we can help the people. We should. Why cannot? We have everything. Can we use this? Yes, we can use our hands to help the people. That is our duty to help the people. We should help them. How? By doing simple or hard works. So, the poet says he is very grateful to the God for giving him hands to help the people when they are in need. Now, let us move to the next one. Yes, the poet says that he is grateful to the God for giving him the ability to pray, so that through a prayer he can get the strength and guidance for doing good others and leading his life in a good way. 
yes we can pray for the people oh god please help them they are in problem please help them we can pray the god using our hands these are the uses of hands the poets he is saying here we have hands to pray to help the people when they are in need now the poet says that he is grateful to the god for giving him heart all above else so that he can love every creature on the earth and he can win his enemy too with love yes we have heart we can love the people we can show kindness to the people yes in the last lesson the three questions the king forgave the bearded man and he gave back his property why we should show the kindness to the people forgiveness is very important so the poet is grateful to the god for giving him the heart to help to show kindness to love the people dear children this poem is for memorization let's watch a video how to memorize the poem now let us see a few techniques of memorizing a poem i am roshini i am from government girls high school hoskote 9th standard i am harshita from government girls high school hoskote i am 9th standard now we are learning poem gratefulness I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. The activities that can be done by me. The activities that can be done by me. I am grateful for the ears that I may hear. I am grateful for the ears that I may hear. Yes, I learned three lines. Now I and my friend will learn the poem. I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. You will note there a hair la. I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. Now I, I am grateful for the eyes that I can see. The activities that can be done by me. The activities that can be done by me. You will not note there a hair la. The activities that can be done by me. The activities that can be done by me. You will give a hair la na. No da hair la. I am, I am grateful, grateful for, for the eyes that, that I can see, the that activities that can be done by me. We have learned the two lines. Now I will match this with this. Here the sobbing. Here speak words of comfort. Hmm. lips simple task mm yeah hands a mm mind love heart pray hands see the activity eyes i got it i know the poem now i will match the lines i am grateful for the lips that might speak words of comfort and peace to all who see i am grateful for your mind that i might know how to aid those who need me so now i will check the answers yes the all the answers are correct now i am right i know the poem now let's check your understanding with the game which is the game hangman game yes see there i will give some clues to the word you should identify you should recall which is the word 
in the poem. If you give wrong answer, you will be hanged. I will give the clues. Based on the clues, you should guess the word, which is the word, which is the organ. Then only you will be safe. Otherwise, you will be hanged. I will give the clue. First one, I have black and white color. I have black and white color. Which is the organ? Oh, you are wrong. You are wrong. Oh, now you are hanging. You have given wrong answer. I have black and white color. You did not guess the correct word. Now, let us move to the second clue. I am very helpful to see things, which is the organ. Very good, you are right. Eyes, eyes are very helpful to see things. Let us move to the next clue. Be careful. If you give wrong answer, you will be hanged step by step. This clue is, you will get tears when do me. When you practice me, you will get tears. Yes, you are giving. Yes, good. I will give one more clue. Eyes are essential for me. What is the word? Which is the word? Very good. Sobbing. This time you are safe. Very good. Now, let us move to the next clue. Next clue is, I have 10 sub parts. I have 10 sub parts. No, 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 no. Wrong. The second stage. Can you give the correct answer? I will give one more. One more clue is there. I am very helpful to do work. Very good, very good. Answer is hands. Correct. Now, let us move to the next question. Be careful to give the answers. Be careful. The clue is I am very helpful to reach the God. I am very helpful to reach the God. What is that? Hands wrong, wrong, wrong. Once again, next step. I will give one more clue. Yes, you will practice when you are in trouble. Oh God, save me. Please, 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 please. What is that? Very good. That is praying. Good, 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 good. Now, let us move to the next question. The clue is, if you save me, I will save you. If you save me, I will save you. No, wrong. Once again, be careful. Otherwise, you will be hanged. If you save me, I will save you. You have given wrong answer. Now, I will give one more clue. I am the source of kindness, love. Now, you can easily identify the organ. What is the answer? Heart. Very good. Heart is the correct answer. Very good. This is the hangman game. You are safe. You have not been hanged. You are safe. Very good. Keep it up. Let us move to the next activity. What is the activity? Guess the organ and its activities. I have given the clues. The numbers are the lines. In the first line, fifth, third, ninth, fourteen. These are on the lines in your textbook. Based on those clues, you should identify which is the organ discussed in that line and the activities of that organ. Let us discuss. In the first line, do not know? Yeah, clue is there, the activity to see which is the organ. Organ is? Yes, I, I is uh, discussed in the first line. Very good. Now, let us move to the fifth line. Fifth line. Let us go to the textbook. Fifth line to speak. To speak, which is the organ? Oh, yes, very good. Lips used in the fifth line. Now, the third line. Very good. Ears discussed in the third line. Ninth line. Yes, very good. You are searching. Yes, what is the activity? Task, work, we will do work using that organ is 
the hands very good very good 14th line come on come on hurry up very good the activity love we use this organ to love to show kindness yes very good the answer is heart this is the activity now grateful for eyes to see grateful for lips to speak we are grateful for ears to hear we are grateful for hands to do simple or arduous tasks we are grateful for heart to love to show kindness this is about the activity now let us know the summary of the poem what's the summary of the poem the poem gratefulness is written by joseph t renardi is the poet yes his popular poems are very good a birthday greeting and a bountiful harvest a binding relationship and graduation day these are his famous poems now in this poem the poet says every human being is blessed with such organs as eyes ears lips and hands human beings have also a heart to love and a mind that gives them the ability to help others yes the poet is grateful to his eyes that help him to see the activities done by him yes we use our eyes to see the activities and evaluate the activities now after eyes ears yes ears that help him to hear the sobbing of the needy lips that help him to speak words of comfort and peace and a mind to think how to help others and is grateful to his hands which help others and to pray to give strength and guidance to him always above all he is grateful to his heart which helps love all what's the message of the poem the poet gives as a message that one has to be grateful for the creator for granting all such possessions because he suggests that a good and positive use of the organs and the grace of the creator be made possessions such very important we have all those organs to help the people so we should be grateful to our creator this is a message given by joseph t ronaldi now let us move to the home assignment answer the following questions the first question is why is the poet grateful for eyes and ears the second question is what does the poet use his hands for now pick out the rhyming words from the poem you know rhyming words you can write now the second question try to translate the poem into your mother tongue try to translate there's a famous song sung by dr rajkumar bhagavanta kai kotta yake ದುಡಿಯೋ ಕಂತ ಅವನ ಯಾಕೆ ಎತ್ತುವೆ ಒಡೆಯೋ ಕಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿದಲ್ವಾ ಆ ಸಾಂಗು ಒಂದ್ಸರಿ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಥ್ಯಾ